Hi and welcome to the part 2 of the video series to help you lose weight effortlessly. Remember the goal is not the weight loss, the goal is to gain health and stay healthy effortlessly and the fat loss and the weight loss will be the side effect of a healthy lifestyle. And the foundation to losing your weight effortlessly and staying healthy is the quality and quantity of your sleep. To be specific, it has to be your night sleep. So how well you sleep at night, at what time you sleep at night and what is your night routine will determine your body's ability to burn fat and stay healthy effortlessly. To quickly correlate sleep and weight, let's understand that when you are trying to lose weight, which is the body weight, it is divided into two parameters, which is the fat weight and the lean body weight. Now, if a person is not getting adequate amount of sleep, let's say you are sleeping six hours or less, or you sleep late at 12, 1, 2, the entire sleeping pattern is out of balance. Then with diet or exercise or any methods, dieting tips and tricks, if you are losing weight, so let's say you lose 10 kgs of weight, then what happens is in that 10 kgs, only 2 kg was the fat weight which was lost and you are losing 8 kg of lean body weight. So you are getting 10 kgs lighter on the weighing scale but you your body is storing more fat you are getting much more unhealthier that's the reason i told you the weight is not the measure of your health here the person is 10 kgs lighter but the body is storing more fat and losing the healthy lean body weight now when you get the good quality of sleep seven to eight hours of good quality sleep with the proper night routine and then you take care of the lifestyle and then if you are losing the weight in a sustainable slow manner with the proper change then the body will lose 5 kgs of fat weight and the 5 kgs of lean body weight not just that people talk about bmr which is you know basal metabolic rate that you know my bmr is low my bmi is slow my bmr is fast the entire bmr is dependent on the quality of your sleep if your sleep quality is compromised your bmr can go down your ability to burn fat can go down or like you know your hunger hormones will increase so let's understand that how night sleep is impacting your ability to eat healthy and how it is impacting your ability to exercise so i had a client she was a nutritionist she studied nutrition for five years she was struggling with weight and PCOS and then after I had the first session and when I told her about the sleep her entire sleep cycle was out of balance and she told me that I studied nutrition for five years and nothing was spoken about the importance of sleep because she tried all the diets on herself and everything that she learned but she was not able to lose weight because her sleeping pattern was completely out of balance. Now when your sleeping pattern is out of balance, the hunger hormones, so we have two hunger hormones which is ghrelin and leptin. So ghrelin is a hormone which tells you that you know you are hungry, you start eating food and leptin tells your body you have had enough, enough of food and you stop eating food. But when your sleep is compromised, the ghrelin which is the hunger hormone it increases and you feel more hungry throughout the day. Also what happens is that when your sleep is compromised, it is said that you are tend to eat 20% more amount of food. So you eat extra calories, you eat extra amount of food when your sleep is compromised. Not just that, your cortisol level which is the stress hormone, it shoots up and then when it shoots up you start craving all the unhealthy processed and junk food along with that your energy levels your willpower and your self-control it goes down now when you don't have energy when you don't have motivation how are you going to go exercise move your body it is scientifically proven that people who don't get adequate amount of sleep they are less motivated to do any kind of work. So if you are if you are sleep deprived, you are eating more food. You cannot control the quantity of food because naturally your body is running under stress hormones. The levels of ghrelin, which is hunger hormones, they are high, and your energy, willpower, self-control is low. Even if you want to 
से नो टू अनहेल्दी फूड यू कांट बिकॉज योर विल पावर एंड योर सेल्फ कंट्रोल इज कॉम्प्रोमाइज योर मोटिवेशन इज कॉम्प्रोमाइज बिकॉज of poor quality of sleep and let's say if you exercise and if you diet with a poor quality of sleep you are damaging your body more if you remember there was this guy named mr ranjan das he was a ceo of sap india in to, in 2012 when he came back from his walk he was 42 years old he passed away with a heart attack he was running marathon he was eating healthiest food but when they found out that the guy was only getting 4 hours of sleep so a healthy diet a healthy ex- uh, or uh, you know extreme exercise will not help you if your sleep is compromised now quickly let's understand what do you need to do if you really want to lose that extra fat from your system and you want to stay healthy effortlessly you have to take control of your night routine so before you plan any diet or you know make any charts or any complicated things on the apps you have to fix your night routine because if the night routine is out of balance the hormones and everything will be out of balance and you will be just wasting more amount of time energy money and then you feel demotivated like uh, then you feel demotivated you blame yourself like i cannot take this diet or like you know now i am not able to lose weight anymore to so start first with your night routine so the adequate amount of time would be anywhere between 7 to 8 hours of sleep so 8 hours would be the ideal time but nothing less than 7 hours now what time is you have to sleep is you have to sleep at night which is anywhere between 9 pm to 11 pm 11 pm is on a higher side earlier the better 12 am 1 am 2 am 12 am is midnight 2 am is early morning that is not the time to sleep when sun sets you have to prepare your body for sleep so 9 to 11 is the ideal time to sleep the second in terms of a night routine is your dinner has to be 2 to 3 hours before your sleep so if you are sleeping at 10 you have to finish your dinner by 8 pm or like you know 3 hours before so that is important why because if you go to bed with a full stomach then your body is not resting properly your body is storing more calories storing more food and also the quality of sleep is compromised because the body is utilizing all the energy in digesting the food rather than repairing restoring and reenergizing your body for the next day so at least 2 to 3 hours before your sleep the third is the dinner quality and quantity has to be very light and it has to be simple normal dal rice roti sabzi tarkari with a veg or a non veg gravy anything very simple home cooked food will understand what to eat in the in the next part but for simple brief is that you have to have your dinner the lightest and the simplest meal of the day a lot of men come home after a full day of work and they want and and they want some special nice food no the time to have food is over now it is time to sleep so what your body need is minimum food and the body wants sleep so light and simple dinner the quantity has to be very less how much to eat we'll understand in the later part of the series the fourth is after you have had your dinner make sure you are active now it does not mean you go and exercise or you go and play a sport or a badminton or cricket at night no you have to just stay active on your feet you don't eat and directly go on to the bed or on the sofa and start watching something just move walk around for 5 10 15 minutes after you finish your dinner and especially i would not recommend anybody to exercise at night because you know you say i don't have time in the morning your time to exercise is over after sunset you have to prepare your body to sleep if you go if you come home late and exercise and then your sleep is compromised so no exercising at night so you have to be active after your meals for at least 15 to 20 minutes all right stay active and the last one is no screens 60 minutes before your sleep so if you are exposing your eyes to extreme blue light extreme of white light led lights 
then you are compromising the release of sleep hormone which is melatonin so you have to dim lights and you have to get away from your gadgets at least 30 to 60 minutes before and then plan to go to sleep now if you can take care of this night routine which is sleeping in this time having your dinner at this time keeping the dinner light and simple staying active after you after meals and then uh, eliminating screen before your sleep then you are starting the entire process of weight loss for your body i have had clients who have just started doing this and they are losing two three kilos of weight in a month without doing any diet without changing the exercising or you know making any other changes just by taking control of your night routine you are activating your body's mechanism to let go of the extra fat because you are eliminating the stress hormone you are increasing the energy levels you are reducing the ghrelin, ghrelin levels in the body so everything gets optimized and if you are somebody who says i cannot do this then please don't go on any diet don't waste your time on exercise because if you cannot fix your sleep routine anything else is just waste of time and it is going to just demotivate you and drain the energy out of you i hope this video helps you take control of your sleep and night routine and start the journey of staying healthy effortlessly and losing the weight in the process if you have any questions regarding the video please post it below the video share it with your friends and family who are looking to lose weight in a sustainable and in a healthy manner in the next part we'll talk about the big topic of food and eating habits Thank you so much. I'll see you soon in the next part.